Do you want to make a clean and aesthetic YouTube intro for your videos? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the steps on how you can do it all for free using Canva. Here's what I created in just a few minutes. Best of all, you don't need any video editing or design skills to do this. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it step by step. What you're going to want to do first is to sign up for Canva. If you don't have a Canva account yet, look down below in the description box where I've provided a link to a 30 day trial of Canva Pro. Once you've signed up, click on create a design and we're going to start by typing in video and that template should show up as 1920 by 1080 pixels. Once you've opened that, you'll see a blank canvas and this is what we're going to start with. At this point, what you wanna do is to add a background. So if we click once anywhere on the canvas, you'll see this color palette, background color. Click that once and you can choose any color you want based on your branding. Once you do know, what we're going to do is to select a color. Now you can add a new color from here. If you know the hex code, then you can simply enter directly here. But what I wanna do is to replicate the video that you just saw at the beginning of this video. So I know the hex code, which is this right here. It's kind of a light uh, cream color. Uh, so you can also drag it so that you can choose what you want. I know the color that I want, so I'll just enter the hex code, press enter, and I'm done. That's the background done. Now, before we move ahead, just enter a new title very quickly here. So I'll just call this YouTube intro example. You can name it whatever you want. Now that's done, I'm going to add a photo right here. So what I'm going to do is to head to elements. And from here, we are going to search for a thing called frames. I love using frames because it allows you to add any photo on that particular frame. What we're gonna search for is a particular shape. If we scroll down, we are going to look for a blob style. So something like this right here, but you can choose whichever you want based on the shape that you like, but we're gonna replicate what we designed before. So it's this one right here. Okay, don't worry about the placeholder image yet. What we're going to do is just to drag it with our mouse to the position that we want. We can always fine tune it later, but we are going to now expand it and size it the way we want so that you can see how much space to take. That looks good around there. The next step is to upload our photo. What we're going to do is to go to uploads, and by the way, if you don't want to add your own photo, you could replace it with, let's say, your company logo or your brand logo. So that's where you can place it. In that case, you don't really need a frame, so you can skip that frame step. But let's go ahead and add our photo. And I've located the photo right here, but it's just to demonstrate how to upload. So what you can easily do is just to drag and drop it directly into the uploads media section right here. That'll upload, you can see the status. However, I'm just going to use this one right here, which has already been uploaded. Click that once, and that's just going to add it to the canvas. And the next step is to drag it to the frame. So if I just click once on that image and then drag it somewhere around that frame, you can see it's already placed it there. Now to adjust the position of that photo on the frame, all you need to do is just double tap, double click, and then we are gonna drag where we want somewhere around there. We can also expand and make it bigger and smaller. So it's somewhere around there looks good. And then now click out of it. Now you can see what it looks like. That's the first step you wanna take in order to add that particular frame element. The next step is to add some titles to our video intro. For that, all you need to do is to go to text. Then from here, we are going to add a heading. Don't worry about the sizes and the font style yet. And I'm just going to drag it right here using this option to drag. First thing you wanna do is to add the title that you want. So I'm just gonna call this uh, Tech Tips. And then what we're going to do is choose a font style. So from the drop down right here, you'll see range of options. I'm going to choose Montserrat Semi Bold right here. Once you've selected a font, all you need to do now is to increase the font size either by using this right here, where I'm pressing the plus, or you can simply drag and expand it to the size that you want. Somewhere around there looks good. So I'll just put it up here somewhere. Don't worry about placement and position just yet. For this next step, I'm going to add another title. So it's Tech Tips with Aurelius. What I wanna do for this next title is to use some sort of script font. So I see this one right here where it says, congrats. I wanna know what that font is. So what I'm going to do is just click once. That'll then insert the heading styles right here. And if I just click once on congrats, 
I can see right there, it's called yellow tail. So with that mental note now, I'm going to undo. So to undo, we'll just click undo or command Z or control Z. And then we are going to add another heading. What I'm going to do is just duplicate this. To duplicate, all you need to do is just click and then we're going to hold the option key or I think on the Windows system, it's Alt. But basically that'll make a copy. Otherwise you can just click once and then at the top right corner, you can click on duplicate. So now I've made a copy and I'm just going to rename this to with Aurelius. And then because I took a mental note of what that font was for congrats, just press once and then I'm just going to search for yellow tail. We've selected yellow tail and as you can see, it's changed it. Looks a little small. So what I'm going to do is just expand it a bit and then align it so that it's kind of centered with tech tips. Another element that I added to the intro that you saw at the beginning was a square or more so a rectangle in this case behind with Aurelius. So what I'm going to do is go to elements and then we are going to go out of the frame search, crossing it. So that'll take us back to this default section. I'm going to select the square under lines and shapes and now that'll add a square. Don't worry too much about the color just yet. We're going to position it somewhere around there, looks good. And then I'm just going to drag to the size I want somewhere around there, looks good. All right, and next step is to change the color. We'll just change the color right here when it's selected. And I like this gold right here. Now the font, I also used white. So I'll change the font color, all right, to white. So if I click on text color, choose white, then I'll change it. Otherwise select it from the default colors if you don't see it somewhere here. I'll just fine tune the position of the rectangle here. So I'll just click it once and then using the arrows on my keyboard, I'll just go up and down to see if it's centered and in the middle. Next up, what you can also do is add some icons or other objects or elements. And in order to do that, we are going to go elements again. This time I wanna search for a laptop. Laptop icon is what I actually search for. And I'll try and locate the same one, which is this right here. Click once when you do find a particular image or element, that'll insert it. I'll just resize it down a bit and drag it somewhere here for now. And I wanna add one more. So it really depends what you wanna add. You're free to search. I wanna search for a tool icon this time. I'll scroll down till I find the right one, which is this one right here. Now this is a pro element as indicated with this little tab, but there are free elements if you just keep looking like this one here, free, you know, free, free. But because I've got a Canva Pro account, I can take advantage of the pro elements. So I'll click once, that'll insert it and I'll just resize it down somewhere around there and I'll just position it somewhere here. Adjust this a bit more. If you wanna adjust all the titles at once, what you can do is just use your mouse, drag the elements or the text that you want, and then we're just going to drag it to where we want. Alternatively, you can also group it together right here. And then all you need to do now is just click any of the elements that'll stick together and stay intact in terms of the position. Okay, great. The next thing I wanna add is an animated element. So if I go here, I'm going to search for burst. So we're going to filter it by burst and find one that we can use. You'll see some that are static, which means it's not moving, and there are some that are animated. I'll just keep scrolling down till I find the one that I want. Now this one does look cool too, so if I click once, that'll add it. And what I can do now is just to drag it somewhere around here and put it in the background, or I can add it to the top. Now you probably can't see it, and it's not as clear because it's white on cream color. But that's kind of the idea, I wanna make it a little subtle. So now, what I notice is that this burst animation is actually in front of the text and all these layers here. Now to put this burst animation behind all the text and titles, I'll just make sure I click it and select it, go to position, and I'll just go backward, and that'll bring it to the back. That looks pretty good now. Now with the titles and elements added to our video intro, what we can do now is add some page animation to give it a bit of life. Go back and we're going to select the actual canvas right here, the background, and click on animate. 
What you'll see now is an option for page animations. The animation that I used before was called Rise. So you can see if you just hover over each of these animations, you can see a preview of how it looks. So browse around, take a look at what you like. This one's called Tumble. This one's called Photo Rise. Some pro animations right here as well. But I'm going to stick to the one that I use, which is this right here. So Rise, like that. What you can also do is add a bit of text animation. It's really up to you, but for me, with this particular demo and example, there's a bit much going on, so I'll avoid adding text animation. I'll show you how to do it anyway. If we click on any of the text, let's say tech tips, make sure you click on animate, and then you'll see a new tab called text animations instead of page animations. And from here, we can do something like typewriter or block or burst. What I do wanna do is to animate this actual photo. So I'll click that once and click on animate and now I'll see photo animations. This time I'll use photo zoom like this. Okay, that's all for animations. Let's now work on the timing of our video intro. When I talk about timing, it is how many seconds do you want your intro to be? You'll see the indicated timing right here, five seconds. We can easily increase that by dragging the end right here to let's say we want seven seconds instead. You can easily do that. And the animations will then reflect based on that new time. So I'm just going to keep it at five seconds right here. Now, what you can also do is to expand it. So expanding the timeline using this lever right here. And this way we can kind of magnify and fine tune it the way we want. So let's say we want 4.8 seconds. So it'll make it a lot easier using this option. But let's keep it to five seconds. To spice things up, we can add music and this will make it a little more interesting. So in order to get music, I recommend a site called Filter. Filter is a website where you can get royalty-free music to use on your YouTube intros without getting flagged by YouTube. Browse through the different categories such as lifestyle, travel, health, gaming, kids and family, or you can go through these different themes, mood, genre. So let's go to theme. You know, you can go cinematic, gaming, depending on your topic but I've gone ahead and went under genre, then dance and electronic, and I looked for one of these tracks, and this one stood out for me, Your Voices. Here's what it sounds like. To download, all you need to do is click on download, and then download as an MP3 or WAV file. Now that I've downloaded the track, what we're going to do is to upload it to a website called Audio Trimmer. What we're going to do is only trim the area of that track that we want to use for our video intro. And also what we're going to do is add a fade out so it fades out the music and not stops uh, abruptly. And by the way, I'll link up these resources in the description box below. I'll just give this a refresh because I've already used this. And this is what you'll see and click on choose file. Locate the music track that you just downloaded. It is uploading, but you can preview it for now. And what I'm going to do now is just to use my earphones so I can listen and hear the part, crop the part that I want. To trim and crop the area that you want, all you need to do is use these scrubbers right here. So I'll just go somewhere right here. I know where to crop it. So it was somewhere around seven seconds or so. All right, and you can tell how many seconds right here. So I'll play it right now. It sounds almost right. I'll just increase it a bit more, about seven and a half. That sounds good. Next, what we wanna do is add the ending scrub. Make sure we are cropping about five seconds since our video intro was five seconds. So in this case, uh, seven and a half and five seconds to that is about 12 and a half seconds. Somewhere around there, let's play it. Yeah, it sounds about right. So once you've done that, what we're going to do is add a fade. So right here, let's turn it on. You can also add a starting fade. So if you want to do that, you can do a fade in so that it doesn't start also abruptly. Output format, we'll just choose MP3 and click on crop. That will take a few seconds and now I can download the file. Here's the file, let's go back to Canva. All we need to do now is go to uploads and then we're going to go to audio this time or you can also just drag it to any of the tabs right there. I'll just drag it right here, wait for it to upload. And then what we're going to do is just click once. That'll add it to the timeline, as you can see. And if I just play it from the start, you can see and hear what it sounds like and looks like. As you can tell, there's a fade out at the end. So that's what we wanna achieve. 
Okay, we are pretty much done with all the elements and the animations and the music track. What you can do now is to download this video intro as an actual MP4 file. So if we go here, click, and then choosing MP4 video, we can now click on download. Now that it's downloaded, as you can see here, we can now take it to our video editing software and add it in wherever we want. And there you go, in just a few minutes, you can create a professional YouTube video intro. If this video was helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications too, so you don't miss out on any future training just like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you.